Hey guys, I'm Rex with Asheville Custom E-Bikes. Want to welcome you to our e-bike shop here today. We got a Super 73 RX Mojave. We're going to change it for a customer, upgrade the single speed gear into 10 speed. That way they can have some decent pedal cadence. Check out this beast of a machine from Super 73. First thing I noticed is these tires. I've never seen out of all the hundreds and thousands of e-bikes we've sold from our shop in Asheville, I've never seen motorcycle type tires on an e-bike this high quality before. These are over four inch wide on the front and five inch on the back. I like the aggressive tread, snow, sand, sleet, you're gonna be okay on this thing. You'll notice a mono shock in the back here. That's adjustable four ways. Cool battery up top, it looks kind of like a gas tank. You got your hub motor in the back. Just the overall aesthetic looks mean. It looks like a nice burly bike that's gonna do pretty much anything you'd want it to do. We got full suspension, rear shock, inverted front shocks, high power motor, and of course you got that Super 73 moped style. I got a chance to ride it around just a little bit here, and it's fast, it's solid, it's comfortable. If you come a little closer, you can see when you get the bike stock, it comes with a single gear. When you're trying to pedal along, it's not gonna give you very much range and cadence delivery. So we're gonna take this kit that comes straight from Super 73. This is the Super 73 10 speed kit. Uh, comes with everything that you need to go ahead and upgrade your bike. You got your rear derailleur in here, cable housing, shifter cables, some new cranks. You got your new gear. It's like a mega range type cluster of gears here. So we're gonna go ahead and take this back wheel off, get rid of that single speed, put on a shifter, derailleur, all these gears, that way they can have some decent pedal cadence. First things first, I'm taking off this chain guard. The chain guard is also attached to the front sprocket here. After we get the chain guard, we're gonna get off the pedal. 15 millimeter open end wrench. Okay, there goes that. We'll be putting on a new crank set, which includes this arm and the sprocket, I believe, to remove the chain. Get this chain breaker here, it's pretty cool. It's got this little pin when you screw it on. There's a pin right here and it pushes it out so that you can remove it and replace it with a new part. Looks like we're gonna get a different chain because usually there's a different chain required when you're gonna have multiple gears versus a single speed. This is a double drive ratchet, highly recommended. When you hold this piece, it's uh, turning either direction, both ways that you turn your wrist. Pretty cool setup, double drive they're called. Now we're gonna get the cranks off. So you're gonna need yourself a crank remover tool like this. And it's gonna take all your strength to make this happen. Woo! Okay, another piece off. Something to note, when you're doing your left pedal, it's backwards threading, so it's clockwise to loosen. Next, we're gonna remove the chain tensioner here. Won't be using that anymore. We'll be replacing that with a derailleur that'll shift the chain onto the different gear cogs. These chain tensioners hold the chain in one spot. Time for the rear wheel. You wanna make sure you get these zip ties off before you remove the motor. We do have assemblies, everything you can want for Super 73s. We're an authorized Super 73 dealer here at Ace Bikes in Asheville. Never quite seen this where the brake caliper is attached to the dropout that's attached to the motor. You always see the calipers attached to the frame. So this is a very unique setup to Super 73. All right, we're halfway there. We got it taken apart. We'll see how it goes putting her back together. Now I'm gonna take off this gear so that we can put on the 10 speed gears. Beautiful. Here's the gear we're getting rid of. That's a single speed. Do not forget the spacer. Hard to get the pedal cadence and speed you want with just one gear. So, Super 73 offers this upgrade. Oops. And we'll put all these gears on there. There we go. We've got the gear cluster on the back wheel. Tension plates, everything lined up. Yeah, I think we're looking good. We've got the rear wheel installed. Once you get the rear wheel back on and the dropout plates lined up, pull it all the way back as far as you can, and then go ahead and tighten the dropout plates. Since the wheel is all installed, we'll take the brake caliper, slide it over the rotor, and screw it back on. Take the motor wire and screw that back on here. We do have the derailleur. This is the mechanism that actually shifts 
the chain onto the next gear here. Next, we got the shift lever, shift lever cable, and the cable housing. We'll install the shift lever on the handlebars, run the cable housing, make sure it's shifting really well. Ready to get the handlebars prepped for the shift lever. You gotta take off the grip, take off the brake lever, take off the throttle, then install the brake lever, the shifter, the throttle, and the grip. Okay, locking grip off, brake lever loosen. There doesn't seem to be enough cable to take the brake lever off. I'm gonna go ahead and take the backing off here so we can just slide the throttle off. Start with the brake lever. We got the brake lever. We're gonna do the shift lever, the throttle, then the handle grip. Okay, that'll work. It's always trade-offs on bikes. You wanna put something else on, something else you're gonna have to move. Connect this throttle wire back. Hopefully the cable housing will fit on the cable still and we won't have to reinstall everything. Beautiful. Cable housing in the shift lever. Now we gotta figure out where does this go? I don't know. This place is for it on here somewhere. It has been an absolute blast working on the Super 73 RX Mojave today. Completely different beast of any machine I've ever worked on before. We barely got the cluster on here, but everything's fitting so far. We got pack it up for today and get back on it tomorrow. So one more day hopefully, and this will be back out on the road. Having a lot of fun with this, and thanks for following along, you guys.